Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming on to show you how I'm going to use this Christmas embossed paper from this Craft Smart paper pad I picked up at Michael's a few years ago. So I've pulled out some of this white pigment ink by Sign and Says Stamp, a couple of different blending tools, Oops. and an old nail file. Let me just show you real quickly. These papers are all embossed and I don't know that you can tell on those lighter color ones, but I think you might be able to tell with all this red. So I've decided I decided I'm going to use this green embossed paper and make a few Christmas cards. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and cut my paper to four by five and a quarter. I'm at four. I know I said four. Four and I cut it four and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter. And just cut a couple, have them ready to go. So on the first panel, I think I'm going to go ahead and try using this white pigment ink by Simon Says Stamp with just a little blending tool and just go over it lightly and see how that comes up and I'm using a very very light hand here because it's not a real deep embossed image it's just a very slight embossing on there so if I press too hard it'll just get on the whole sheet of paper. So here I think you can see some of the light ink blending over it. I'm going to go a little bit, just a little bit more, see if we can get more of the white pigment ink to show up. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. I'm going to set aside that blending brush and let's try it now with an actual uh, a blending brush. And this is one I had in my stash that I think I picked up on Amazon. Again, going to go real light, light hand. Just see the difference in the different tools on blending over this lightly embossed cardstock. that one aside and then we'll use this little finger dauber I have we'll see how that works Still kind of got into the nooks and crannies and looks like some of that green came off on my blending brush or finger dauber. On my fourth one, I'm going to get this old um, nail file. So one that's kind of been used and I'm just going to lightly sand going in the same direction, kind of at a diagonal over the embossed cardstock definitely comes off on the file so I'll only be using that for card making 
But look how much better the embossed pattern shows up. Let's show you the four. So this one was with this blending tool. This was with this blending brush. This is with our finger dauber. And then this was with our sanding block. Can you see them all? Am I in camera? And I think my two favorite are the ink blending tool where I had a little bit more control and the nail file. I really like the nail file one. So let's make these into some Christmas cards. Now I have these Merry Christmas sentiments that I had in my stash from a previous project. I did these on my Cricut, so I did a print and then cut them into a circle. But I think they look a little too plain, like they're just floating there. So I want to ground them with some more of this red cardstock that I have. And I think that looks a little bit better. So let me go ahead and attach these strips and then I'm gonna pop up those little round sentiments. And this is just some foam tape that I got at um, Dollar Tree. It's really very sticky um, and it, it'll do in a pinch because I ran out of my other foam tape but I'm gonna make do with what I have for the time being. You know, looking at them, I definitely like the one with the nail file technique the best. Because the other is just kind of, uh, I don't know, look a little bit dirty. Not necessarily highlighted with the ink blending. So I have these. Red and white candy canes, these that are like the Christmas lights, oh boy, and then these that are gingerbread men. You know, I'm going to take the fact that I tipped these over as a sign that those are the ones I need to use. All right, there's my four completed cards. I decided not to add the little sequins to this fourth one. I really just like the way it looks. Um, 
Obviously, this is my favorite, the one with the nail file. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye!